How's it going everyone? I'm Slava Nutorski and welcome to the channel. For new viewers, welcome. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing. I have new videos dropping all the time. And I would like to also insert here, this is not AMSR, ASMR, I'm just messing around at this point. Uh, what I'm actually doing here is I had a request from a viewer to show how to switch out the magazine re release on the Ruger Max 9. So I wanted to go ahead and put that in and make a video for it. Uh, I had to learn how to do this myself, so I've never had to switch one up because I am right-handed. But uh, I had someone request it, so why not? Let's learn it together. Uh, you'll notice my beautiful mood lighting camera over here that I bought from Walmart. You know, it's like $3 cheap. Uh, yeah, it's not actually mood lighting. It's kind of musty in this room, my office. Uh, it kind of stinks, so I have that in here to kind of make it not so stinky. I, need to, I think I just need to wash the carpet is what's going on in here. It's kind of, yeah. But yeah, this is, if you notice, my videos have slowed down the past couple of weeks. Um, I actually have an update on that. Uh, I'm going to be making a video on it as well. I, <laughs> I caught COVID. So uh, I'll make a video explaining my experience on that, stuff like that. But between that, the job moving, uh, my workload increasing at work, working from home a lot less. Um, it's been, an, I, I always have difficulty adjusting to new schedules, so that's why everything has slowed down. But we're going to try to get things all rounded up for you guys again and get the uh, everything pumping, all right? <laughs> all right, so uh, I'm going to try a couple new things with this video and we'll see if you guys like it. I'm going to try to, uh, even if, I f if video footage is horrible, I did get a bore, not, not a bore site, but a, um, I can't remember the name now, a, a camera on a cord. <laughs> Let's just go to the basic model camera on a cord so I can run it in there and show you up close what we're working with. I know one of you guys is screaming right now. Endoscope, there it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what's going on with that. So I'm going to try a couple different things with the camera to see if I can make it come out well for everyone to see it. All right, so, uh, and of course, we're going to be going off the guide. I'm going to show you everything that we need to go in here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, now it's time to disassemble so we can get in there and get at that magazine release. Safe, nothing in there, nothing in the chamber. All right. No disassemble. That is what we want to get to, that little guy right in there see that little that, that looks really good that little metal piece that's what we want to get to all right we're going in
used to be like this now it's going to be like this So let's go deep diving again. You see how that pin is on the opposite side now? What I had to do, I'm sorry, my hands are really shaky. Bear with me one second. All right, so this pin right here, 
you had to put this in and rotate it for that pin to fall into this little cutout. So this came in with this point facing down here. You pushed it up till this would line up with this cutout, rotate it up, and then push it through and the pin fell right in. All right, now the true test. And yes, in case you were wondering, this is a pedicure set I bought off Amazon, and that's the piece that I just used to do this. All right, there you have it. That's how you switch it out. Hopefully YouTube doesn't hate this video. Uh, but I've never actually had to switch a magazine release on anything that I've owned previously. I'm a righty, and obviously the whole market is very biased towards righties. <laughs> <laughs> so I've never had to do it, but I think this is really cool to learn uh, full discretion I learned this about 30 minutes before doing the video. That's why I thought it'd be funny to actually put the Guide in there because after I learned it or rather Thought I learned it. Uh, I had to as you saw in the video Relearn it and adjust how I thought I had learned it But uh, no, now I'm gonna have to go and switch this back because I'm a righty and that's just weird. I I don't like shooting my left hand. I don't know, maybe this would be a good for trainer for me to learn more on my lefty, or my left hand. I really should do it anyways, right? <laughs> but yeah, hopefully everybody enjoyed the video, found it informational. And uh, I, the reason I made this is actually uh, one of my subs, in and out uh, You have the hamburger icon, I love it. Uh, you've been a great supportive follower. Thank you a lot for the idea, and I hope this really helped you. If you have any questions, go ahead and toss them in the comment section, and I'll see if I can help you out best I can there. But uh, again, thanks for that video idea. Hope this helped out. Now, I'm sure there are other people out there that know a much better way of doing that. I am far from professional. Most everything I do, do is hillbilly toolonometry. <laughs> In other words, figure it out with what you have. I don't necessarily go out and buy all the best tools. Hence the, uh, the um, pedicure kit over there, or manicure, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> But um, yeah, yes, that I spent a lot of money on Amazon. I don't even want to say how much money I do. But uh, yeah, found it informational, helpful to all. Like is always super appreciated. Let's talk away in the comment section. If you know better ways of doing that, let us know. If uh, you would like to actually see this kind of a video more often, uh, go ahead and toss that down there too. If you'd like to see how to do this on any of the others that I recently reviewed, go ahead and toss that down there too. I'll go ahead and I'll research it and get a video out for you guys. But uh, that's it for now. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you have any critique or anything, let me know. I know that this little, uh, I have the endoscope wrapped around my camera right now. It's hanging off the top right up here. Uh, I'm still learning how to do that thing. It's not, it really isn't that good. The recording's only 720. It's kind of jumpy. I don't know. I might still use it for things. I might do it for more still images. I honestly bought it to look down my drain to see what was clogging my drain come to find out there was a pencil in it and I have no idea how that happened weird things but uh yeah that's it um I can't think of anything else I wanted to go over as you can see I had the guide out and I thought it'd be funny to kind of put that there just to see if you guys enjoy it if you like videos like this I try to kind of make them if you ever seen Evil Dead how they just slam everything down that's kind of what I was going for <laughs> I'm sure some of you picked up on that but uh let me go through my spiel I want to thank everyone that stopped by to watch the video as usual, I do hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know if you did and if you want me to do more stuff like this. Uh, comment away. You know, all the comments is what helps in YouTube right now the most. And the more that I can grow the channel, the more information I can get out to people, the more I learn too. So I love it. But uh, that's it. I hope everyone out there stay safe. Keep your family safe. Don't give up on your goals. Uh, I had to take a bit of a hiatus for mine. It's really been stinking. But uh, we're going. See what we can do. It's Saturday that I'm recording this. Uh, I'm, I am fiddling around with that Dogecoin stuff, so I put like $30 into it just to see what would happen a couple months ago. Let's see what happens on SNL tonight. If it skyrockets, hey, maybe I'll get a little bit of a profit back. <laughs> maybe enough to buy another one of these or something. <laughs> That'd be cool. But uh, yeah, I hope everybody out there stay safe. We'll talk to you again in the next video, and we will see you then.